Hi there. I'm Farmer Brad and I've been tagged by The Wright Farms in a challenge for sharing 2019 homestead goals. Top 5. I would like to refine my rotational grazing program. Currently I have Katahdin sheep and I have a few different paddocks but I would like to be able to figure out good rotation, also provide them with um, shelter in different paddocks. I'm thinking of converting a chicken tractor, a 10 by 20 foot chicken tractor, uh, into a portable shed for the sheep to have shelter uh, in different paddocks. Our property is surrounded by high tensile electric fence. So what I've done is I've switched out the energizer to be a low impedance energizer. That way, anywhere I have high tensile electric fence, I can just clip on poly wire in order to make my own paddocks wherever I want. So that's really nice to have that flexibility. Number four, I would like to can more vegetables for my family. Now last year, I only got to, I was able to can two cans of green beans. It was a lot of work, but there's just a sense of satisfaction knowing that I grew it, I canned it, and my family can eat it. So, a lot of that also has to do with planting more, so I plan to really ramp things up in the high tunnel. Goal number three has to do with my YouTube channel. Currently we're at about 530 subscribers right now and this year I would like to get over 1,000. And part of the reason for the 1,000 is so that I can monetize the channel, but also I feel like my uh, fertigation project is, uh, I haven't seen many videos out there so I would like to teach more people about that type of uh, growing system. My number two goal is to raise 500 pasture raised poultry this year. Now last year I did 300 in three batches of 100. This year my first batch I'm starting off with 150 meat birds and so we'll play it by ear but yeah my goal is to increase the total number of chickens raised by 200 this year. And part of that is as I'm growing more customers in the Wayne County area, I want uh, to be able to provide high quality, humanely raised pasture poultry for the area so that people have options so that they don't feel like the only place they can get chicken is from the grocery store. And my number one homestead goal for 2019 is to complete phase, well, I would say maybe phase two of the high tunnel fertigation system. I would consider phase one was actually building the high tunnel. So phase two will consist of getting the hydraulic ram pump up and running, piped so that it will consistently work, then from there I'll run the 500 foot 1 inch pipe to an IBC tote that is elevated next to the high tunnel and then I'll have a 1 inch filter, water filter uh, put on that pipe and then I'll use that directly for ir irrigation. Phase 3 would consist of installing the grow control and a 50 gallon drum of water and then be able to analyze the water that's coming in and add um, liquid nutrients to the water source um, but phase two is to really get water out there without having to use a garden hose last year I strung up every garden hose I owned and that's how I was able to grow out there but since we have that upper pond that is spring fed and always flowing, I would like to utilize that water. So I hope you've enjoyed these five 2019 homestead goals. 
I'm going to tag Randy Kleinman. I challenge him to come up with a video of his uh, top five homesteading goals of 2019. Thanks for watching and make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Leave comments on the video. I'll try to reply to them as much as I can. And hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>